Loading images optimally is one of the best things you can do for performance on your site. In this particular application, I have three separate images that are all the same. I have an AVIF format, I have a JPEG format, and I have a WebP format. These are just different compression algorithms that make your image files larger or smaller, but they relatively look exactly the same. JPEG is the oldest and the largest file system. In our case, this is 665 kilobytes. If we move to WebP, which is a newer standard, it's much better at compression, and it's only 370 kilobytes, so a little over half the size. AVIF is an even newer format that's even better at compression, and this is only 210 kilobytes. So the exact same image as our JPEG in AVIF format is a third the size, and that means it'll load faster and look better for your user. Now the problem is when you're writing out your HTML, it's hard to know which one you can write because not all browsers support AVIF or WebP, so you may need that JPEG browser to fall back to. That's where the picture element comes in. It allows us to load different images based on the browser support that we have. So we can replace the simple image tag with a much more complicated tag that's going to be our picture element. So you can see here, we start with a picture element, we render out some different sources, and then finally at the bottom, we have our fallback, which is our normal JPEG image. Each one of our sources specifies the type of file we want as well as the source for that. So in our type, we say this is an image slash AVIF that tells us it's at AVIF file format. Then we use source set instead of source to specify where that image is. So that's just a path to our AVIF image file. We do the exact same thing with WebP. And now when we save our page, you'll notice down below, it looks like nothing actually changes. But if we inspect this and we actually look at the network tab for our images specifically, and I give that a refresh, you'll notice here, we are loading the AVIF format version of that particular image. So essentially what's happening is our browser is looking at this picture element, it's determining which one of these sources it supports, and it just goes top to bottom. So since we support AVIF, it's going to download that one. So you just put them in order of the ones that you want to support first, and as soon as it gets to one it supports, it'll use it. If for some reason our browser doesn't support this format, it'll fall back to WebP. And if it doesn't support that, it'll fall back to JPEG, which every single browser supports. Now, this is just one of many techniques for image optimization, and if you want to see more, I'll link a full video at the very bottom of your screen.